Good day buddies. We made a lot of this pocket ant farms recently, and decided to give away a set of this nest. To whoever guessed right, what we did to the ant nest next after making them. The answer to the question is this whole content itself, and we'll be revealing the winner of our first ever giveaway on the channel on this video as well. Anyway. We started by cutting some Sintra board, and glue them together to make a mold looking like this. Then using hot glue we attached another piece of Sintra board to act as the base. Then we mixed a red and yellow grout powder, we usually used food color in our previous builds. But this time we are using colored grout instead, for a change. We used 7 parts yellow, 5 parts red and 6 parts fine sand, for this spilled mixture color. We just mixed water, based on how thick we want it to be. Then we just pour it inside the mold. Anyway, this is the same mixture we used on making those tiny circular nests. We also mixed a lighter color of sanded grout, I'm pouring it here just to give another shade, this is experimental so I'm not sure how, it will end up later. So don't mind this buddies. After letting the first layer to dry for several hours, we fill the next layer of the second story. Next stop is I fill a moist sand on this part like this, to create some free space. Don't worry, you'll see what's the use of this sand later on. Then we just proceed filling the top one. And after letting this whole thing set overnight, we cut the hot glue on the baste. Cleaned or removed there. Hardened grout on the edges, cause we're lifting the mold a little bit next for at least 2 centimeters. Here's the sand that we placed earlier, we'll just remove them from here. So we can use the space it made, to accommodate an ant nest. Speaking of which, we can place them now. One here at the top. Then two interconnected nest here and another two below, which will also be connected together by a tubing like this. We just attached this sintras here to lift, and hold the mold on place. We're also adding some decor now, like this miniature bamboo. Planting them using hot glue, so they'll stay on place while the mixture dries. We're setting moist sand here to stop the mixture on spreading on this part. Then we pour the mixture that will hold the nest and decors on place. Then our experimental thingy again. We're also planting this artificial bushes I got from a craft store. We'll just stick them through the grout. Then we top some areas with sand, for added texture. The next day. I removed the mold. Then carved the whole land hill with lots of crevices to make it more interesting. The nest entrance here is a little bit buried, so we searched and dug it up a bit. If you'll gonna ask me on how to make good crevices, I'd say make it random without any plans. The more random it is, makes it better. Adding some shallow, and deep crevices will surely add more, texture. So just carved it to your heart's content, just be careful around the nest especially if you didn't make it thick enough to be carved. And we're done on the nest. Before we lay the finishing touches, move an ant colony. And reveal the winner of our giveaway. Let me send my deepest gratitude to our buddy, MarkXT84 for sending super thanks and support to the channel. Thank you. Let me also say welcome back buddies. And for those new to the channel, you're also, welcome, to, D Colony.
The next thing we'll need for this build is a container, I'll use this one for the outworld. Just like we did to the artificial plants, we're also securing the nest on its place using hot glue. We just need to double check the nest around, that it doesn't come in contact with the lid of the container we're using. Or this ant farm build is doomed to fail. To be honest I plan to place additional, nest on the flooring like this, but it's a little bit deep under the lid so I cancelled that planned. Anyway. I also added artificial bamboos around it to complete the scenery. Then we just poured sanded grout to the main flooring, once again. Then we're adding light colored grout at the top, to make a little color variation to the ground. And to make it uniform, we're also adding bushes around it as well. Then we sprinkle dry sand randomly, so we have some rougher texture parts around. We let it dry for another 48 hours. And now ready for an ant colony to migrate. We'll covering the upper nest entrance for now, so the colony will start moving in one place first. I've also cut some smaller tubing since the 10 millimeters we used to the entrance, seems a little big for the ant we are housing. Then just place the escape prevention barrier we prepared yesterday. Hydrated the nest. Before finally moving our pet ant colony. Just look at how happy this ants to explore, and map the new place. It's actually pretty cool, that the color variation we did on the flooring, turns out pretty good in contrast to this ants color. I'm sure some of you buddies already saw, or familiar with this colony that we move. Especially our OG channel supporters out there. To be honest, I didn't expect that one of you will be giving an exactly correct answer to our giveaway question. He even guessed right what colony is moving in, which is our 4 years old Tetramorium colony on this video. And our buddy who did that is none other than, Sir Robert Alcantara. Congratulations buddy as you're the winner of our first ever giveaway. Please drop your contact info in there, comments anytime. Or mail me so I can send the promised set of ant farms immediately. Anyway. The massive colony we move is the one who's occupying the space station ant farm, which serves as their home for almost two years. But a few months ago, we split this colony into two. One of the reasons is the breakout we featured on this short video before. We moved the half of the colony on this vertical ant farm that time. I'll tell you more of this colony splitting on another vid buddies, as we're also making this colony their own setup and update soon. Anyway. After we replaced the broken nest, the other half or this colony on the right stays on this setup. Until today, that we're moving them now to our newly built ant farm. They're still massive, and I think they're about to catch up on their former size before the colony split happens. We just disconnect the four old nest, and directly place them inside their new ant farm. Don't worry buddies this, is safe, yet one of the fastest way of moving an ant colony to a new setup. Especially this ants are so slow buddies, so it will really speed up the phase of the move for them. As an ant keeper we can just sit back, relax and enjoy this moment. Watching them explore around 
and inside their brand new nesting space. After several hours, the colony started to move the broods and even some of the queen ants. And before I go to bed, I opened the upper two nest for them to occupy as well. And the next morning, we removed the four old nesters they're already abandoned. Though we, still have a lot of workers, and alerts hanging around outside. Just being stubborn, or lazy for now to move. But they'll eventually move later on, as we still have enough of room to fill on their new nest. Speaking of it, let's check them out. The first two nest we offered looks jam-packed like this, with lots of workers. Young larvae, and eggs hanging on the glass. But if we take a closer look below them, we'll see a much more massive amount of brood lying throughout the nest flooring. And moving here, on one of the busy entrance of the second story nest. Workers come and go, always busy running, errands for the colony's success. On this part we had fewer broods, and mostly consist of young workers and illets. Anyway, this two nests are also connected with tubing here, this is still spacious especially this part. Just waiting for the alerts we've seen hanging out outside earlier. And we still have one available nest here at the top floor, waiting for the colony's growth. To sum it up, it's been another successful move for this four years old ant colony. To be honest, since the beginning, it's been nothing but enjoyment to have them as pets. I don't know how long will they occupy this setup this time, but to finish up and celebrate the migration, we'll let them have this juicy dubia roach as their first meal on the setup. I just hope you have learned something from this video guys. Be a genie for the first time, by granting my wish and tapping the like and share button. That would help a lot. This is D Colony, saying goodbye. For now. But hoping to see you on my next videos.